In this video I'm going to take a look at something called uh, the attenuation coefficient and it's different for different materials and this tells how much a uh, material will attenuate sound. So if we emit a pulse of sound from a transducer the intensity of that pulse decreases as it passes through uh, tissue. And so the size or the intensity of the pulse that arrives at this interface is going to be somewhat less than that uh, the original pulse that was emitted by the transducer. Okay, um, And that sound energy is being absorbed by the tissue as it passes through the tissue. So let's take a look at um, soft tissue to get started with and the attenuation for soft tissue is given as uh, one half or 0.5 decibels per centimeter per megahertz. So the attenuation depends not only on the distance it travels but also depends on the frequency of the transducer. So, uh, um, and so if I wanted to write a formula to, de to determine the uh, attenuation here, I might say attenuation is equal to um, the attenuation coefficient times the distance that the pulse has traveled times the frequency. Okay, and then this attenuation will be calculated in decibels and it'll tell me the amount of decibels of attenuation and so if I have some initial um, uh, intensity I can uh, use that in the um, in the decibel formula to figure out the final intensity uh, by putting um, if in this case, since it's attenuation, it would be a negative however many decibels divided by 10. So 10 raised to the negative dB over 10 power and then uh, times the initial intensity is going to equal the final intensity that we'll see at the interface. Okay, so let's try an example with soft tissue. So I have a, let's say I have a six megahertz transducer and the pulse is going to travel uh, three centimeters for, through soft tissue um, and I'll calculate how much attenuation occurs um, as it passes through the soft tissue. So um, first I'm going to figure out the attenuation and so since um, the attenuation is equal to uh, the attenuation coefficient times distance times frequency. I can then plug in uh, its one half or 0.5 uh, decibels and I'm going to write it this way. You might see it written either as uh, the units on this written either as divided by centimeters and divided by megahertz or decibels with a, with a big line over both centimeters and megahertz. Okay, um, And then I'm going to multiply by the distance which is three centimeters in this case and the frequency which is six megahertz. And so I'll bring in the calculator even though this one is probably easy enough we didn't need to use the calculator but uh, so I have 0.5 times 3 times 6 and that's equal to 9 decibels of attenuation Okay, and so um, that's how much attenuation I have now to figure out the intensity. Let's say that this transducer uh, started out with uh, uh, one, let's say it was one watt. And so that's equal to 1,000 uh, milliwatts um, 
and let's say that's per square centimeter. 1,000 milliwatts per square centimeter is the intensity of our original sound. Okay, and so uh, if that's the case, then um, I, I can write my formula for my final intensity to be um, the original intensity. Let's, uh, let's show that. Um, so I'll just write out the formula first, I think. Original intensity times uh, 10 raised to the power of minus dB over 10. And so the original intensity is um, 1,000 milliwatts per square centimeter. And uh, times 10 raised to the minus 9 decibels divided by uh, 10 decibels. Um, so the 9 ten raised to the 9 tenths power. And so, okay, let's try that on the calculator. So let's see, and this is really 0.9, so if I do that ahead of time, that'll make it a little easier if I figure that out. Divide by 10, so that's 0.9, uh, or sorry, negative 0.9. So I have, on this calculator, I have this 10 to the uh, yellow, 10 to the X button, so I'll, I'm going to use that one. So I have shift 10 to the X um, minus 0.9 and enter. And so 10 raised to the negative 0.9 is equal to um, 0.126. I'll just take three decimal places for now. And so, and then if I multiply that by 1,000 times 1,000, That's equal to um, 125.9, uh, or um, let's just make that round up around to three decimals here. 126 milliwatts per square centimeter. And I should probably um, check this number, right? So if uh, if this were negative um, one, that would e ten to the negative one power would equal one tenth. So this is close to one tenth. So that's uh, that number is probably correct. So I didn't make a mistake using the calculator, and. Then, uh, so here's my final intensity. So I started out with a nice intense pulse of 1,000 milliwatts, a whole watt of power, and by the time it's traveled only three centimeters, it's already attenuated down to only 126 milliwatts. So I went from 1,000 down to 126, traveling three centimeters through soft tissue. So it's quite a change.